Are you a middle-aged cyclist suffering from a bit of presbyopia? Or maybe you're just a little bit farsighted and you have a tough time seeing your cycling computer or anything else you have in your bars? Well, stick around for the rest of this video and I'll show you not only how you can see better, but also look good while doing it. So many cars. Oh my God, I'm out of shape. I'd like to blame COVID, but the truth is I just haven't been disciplined. I just haven't been riding. And when I do ride, I just go out and have fun. Not really training. So, oh geez, I'm feeling it. I think this is my fourth or fifth attempt to record this review of the Tafosi Jet and Crit sunglasses with reader lenses. So multiple times, places I've recorded most of this review, and for one reason or another, I just wasn't happy with it. Either the audio wasn't very good, or the video wasn't great, or I wasn't happy with the content, you know, what I said. So hopefully this will be the good take. So right now I'm wearing the Tafosi Jet with a reader lens, plus one and a half diopter reader. And let me tell you, this is a product I'm really excited about because as I mentioned in the intro, I have some presbyopia. I'm nearsighted, I wear contact lenses, and my contacts correct my distance vision really nicely. So I can see really well, you know, beyond arm's length. But anything that's closer to me than kind of an outstretched arm's length, I have a really tough time seeing. So. What does that mean? Well, my Garmin, my GoPro remote, my phone, anything that I'm kind of holding or that's on my bars when I'm riding is just about impossible for me to read, uh, except for the biggest print. So it's really frustrating, uh, especially if I'm trying to look at like a group track map on the Garmin. That's just indecipherable mush. So. The way I solve this most of the time is I wear reading glasses. I have reading glasses that I carry with me pretty much all the time. And when I'm not wearing my contacts, my prescription glasses are progressives. So they have, you know, a progressive reader at the bottom, bifocal kind of thing. And that's great, but I don't want to carry those with me when I'm out riding. So what's the solution? Thankfully, there's a few companies making glasses with reader lenses built into them. And one of the best in this area is Tifosi. And you know I like Tifosi anyway, but they actually have a pretty good range of glasses with built-in reader lenses. So the great thing about these is that they're legit cycling glasses. They keep the wind out of your eyes. They keep dirt and dust and rocks out of your eyes. They're nice and dark. They're lightweight, they're durable, not super expensive and they've got a reader lens. So now I just look down, I can see my computer, I can see my remote. Everything is nice and clear and sharp. If I take my phone out of my pocket, I can use it, I can read text messages, see what's going on. And it just really is a, I don't know, kind of a liberating feeling to be able to see when you're on a ride or to see, you know, like fine print. So what's funny is I have other pairs of Tifosi glasses that I like better in terms of how they look on me. Uh, like my Athon and my Davos, I think are more stylish. So the Tifosi Jet and Crit are the two pairs I'm talking about today that have rear lenses. And they're kind of an older style. They're frameless, which makes sense because the reader lens is in the bottom portion of the lens. And if you had a frame there, it would kind of get in the way. And I think the added thickness of that reader lens might interfere with the frame too. So. It makes sense to use sort of a shield or half half frames design for cycling glasses with readers. But it gives them somewhat of a, a little bit older, arguably slightly more out of date style than like the Davos or the Athon. But the funny thing is, I find myself grabbing the uh, Tifosi Jet and Crit much more often when I do the uh, when I do the 
uh, Davo Sinet's on. That guy's thinking I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. But uh, I, I tend to grab these guys because I can see with them. With the Ethan and the Davos, I'm making the choice for fashion. I really like the way they look. I like the way they work. But man, most rides nowadays, I grab the Jet or the Crit because I know I'll be able to read stuff. And that's just a huge plus. So I wanted to give you a closer look at the, the Jet, which is this black pair, and the Crit, which is this kind of translucent gray pair. Uh, the Jet is available as a standard reader on the Tfosi website. The Crit has reader lenses, but only if you go through their custom program. It's not listed under the reader cycling glasses on their website. So you have to go into the, the custom program, select the Crit, and then pick the reader lens glasses. Both of these I got with plus one and a half diopter reader lens correction, which works well for me for reading stuff in my bars. Uh, but you have some, I think you have a choice of plus one and a half, plus two, maybe plus two and a half, or one to, one to two, something like that. So the Jet and the Crit both have a very similar frame shape. Um, and they're about the same size. The Jet is a little smaller than the Crit. One nice thing about the Crit is it has interchangeable earpieces like the Davos and the uh, Ethan. So if you have those glasses, you can switch out parts. The Jet is a little bit older design, I think, and it does not have the interchangeable uh, nose bridge pieces or the, the temples. But uh, both of these work well, and I've found that I I'm, I'm end up wearing these more often than my other better looking sunglasses just because they do have that reader lens and it is really handy to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm on the bike. Going forward, I would really love it if, if Tifosi would make some glasses that are uh, newer style, maybe the Slice or the Solly, or even the Alliant I think would work. Uh, some of their newer glasses that have a very modern look and put a reader lens in the bottom. So Tifosi, if you're listening, that's what I want to see as a future product. But in the meantime, kudos for making the Jet and the Crit, and I think the Veloce, all with reader lenses. Leaf blower wrecking my sound. All right, that's about all I got to say. Happy riding. <laughs>